Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. This is part of the series of what to do when you first start the game, and I'm recommending that you don't immediately go into a career, though you can do that if you want. Last episode, we went to the offline bass tournament in Guntersville, and uh, we won the Guntersville Open, which gave us a thousand TP, plus we got an extra 3,000 for leveling up to level 3 and basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the carp cup qualifier alright and I'm gonna show you what to do with your equipment okay so you're gonna go to your car carp default you're gonna keep all this equipment the same but you're gonna go and buy this dark matter rig it's gonna cost you 2000 TP even if you lost the bass tournament, you should at least level up twice, which will give you the 2000 TP. If you do have the extra money, spend it on the sweet corn single. That's going to be 700 TP. And then if you don't have the sweet corn single, just put a banana fee on everything. Okay, guys, you're going to take that, those two baits. You're going to head over to offline tournaments. You're going to go to carp and you're going to start the Waldsy qualifier. Okay, guys. All right, perfect. So we're here in Waldsy. So we're gonna select the swim we're starting with. As you can see on the top right corner, you have five rolls remaining, which means that if you press X or square in the PS4, you're gonna randomly select a different one. This is just in case the peg you're at is not really working. But unless we're not catching anything in the next in the first five minutes, then I'm gonna just stay right here where I am. Okay, guys. So like I said, the peg is already set up there, um, and all we're going to do is start casting, okay? So you hit LT to cast, you're going to hit L3, which is pressing down on the left joystick, to, and then you're going to go about 50%. My tactic right here is to fish, fish really close to the dock, okay guys? So we're going to do that with each rod. And we're actually going to clump them together at around 50% to 60%. Around, all around the same area, just like this. Okay, guys? Now, the thing, the reason why I'm getting you to make some TP on the bass fishing is so you get practice on bass fishing. And the three lures that you start off the bass fishing really work well in that spot where we went. Now, the most important thing is to get 2,000 TP so you can get that number two hook which is gonna mean you're gonna get the biggest bass available in this lake they're not gonna bite very fast guys it takes some time we're also gonna be spotting this so you take your spot rod you can lower the speed to three if you wanna bring it closer to where your lures are and boom we got our first hit you hit the d-pad left or right to go into your rods select the rod that bit and now this is how you fight carp guys you're gonna bring your rod all the way back and when the carp is fighting you are not reeling when the carp is not fighting you are reeling so he's gonna fight and I leave him alone then I start reeling I st I'm reeling right now guys He's fighting, so I'm not reeling, and my rod is just pulled back. I'm reeling right now because he's not fighting. Reeling, 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 reeling. He's probably going to turn around at some point. And start fighting. Okay. He's fighting. Now, see how the tension is not really hitting the exclamation mark? I'm just gonna increase the drag a little bit just until he every time he fights it he does actually trigger that exclamation mark or right before that that's how you make sure you don't snap the line right right before the exclamation mark happens so right there that's a lot of exclamation marks so I'm gonna go back down to 25 he's not fighting so I'm reeling he started to fight so I stopped reeling but I'm still pulling my rod back guys 
He stopped fighting, so I start reeling. And he starts fighting, so I'm pulling my rod back. And so on and so forth. Because you have the starting equipment, it takes a long time to bring these carp in. Guys, don't get frustrated. Don't worry about that. Like, trust me, it's going to pay off. So right now I'm bringing him in. He should be getting pretty tired. Now he's fighting, so I'm just pulling my rod back, letting him go. Let him do his thing. I'm not reeling, I'm not touching the LT trigger. And now he stopped, so I'm gonna start fighting him. Let him go. This might actually be a trophy, guys, because it's, it's taking a long time. But uh, we'll see what he is. Alright guys, so he's coming in now. And no, it's a 50 pounder. Wow, guys, I didn't expect to get a 50 pounder right away. That is awesome. Just immediately, I recast the rod I just used, and then I switch right after that to rod number three, which had triggered a, a long time ago. Now, guys, just take a look at the score. Because we switched to hook number two, we are way far ahead of the competition, guys. So again, I'm reeling him in until he starts fighting, and then I just pull my rod back. Reeling him in until he starts fighting, and once he starts taking off, I just pull my rod back. Now, we're pro there's so many fishes on the line, we're probably going to lose one of these fish, that's okay, okay. Look, he's fighting, I stopped reeling. He stopped fighting, so now, right now I'm reeling until I feel the tension on the line again. And I see him turn around and start trying to take the line. Right now I've been reeling this whole time, guys. I'm still reeling. And boom, he's taking the line, exclamation mark hit. Let him go. And now I start reeling again. He's probably going to do this twice more, I would say. So I'm letting him go. I'm pulling my rod back, but not reeling. He got tired. So now I'm reeling, and then he's going to take it one more time. That's fine. And this guy's going to be like pretty big as well, guys. Which is good, that's awesome, that's what we want. We want the biggest carp we can find so we can absolutely destroy the competition and get that 1000 TP for plus every time you catch a, you level up, you're getting TP as well, don't forget that. Alright guys, and he's finally coming in. Wow. Another 50 pound carp, guys. Alright, so... That other fish was waiting for a long time. I'm not surprised that snapped. That's fine. We still got another fish on the line. So let's bring this guy in. Alright, unfortunately, he's all the way at the 98-yard line. So what I recommend you do in this case is you kind of just reel and kind of do this. I find this makes him go, look how quickly he's coming back. And then just stop reeling and pull your rod back as soon as he starts uh, giving a lot of attention to the line. You're seeing that exclamation or hearing that exclamation mark.
There he comes. And now he's actually going to start fighting, so I just let him go. Okay, I start reeling. Let him go. Pull the rod back. Start reeling when he's not pulling. Let him go. Hold my rod back. Start reeling when he's not pulling. You guys get the idea, right? <laughs> These size carp will come in a lot quicker once you improve your equipment, but we don't have the money to do that yet. That's okay, all that's happening is that it's taking forever <coughs> for each fish to come in. And here he comes. And that is a 30 pounder. Alright guys, now I'm gonna go to recast this one and then go to reel number three three if anything gets caught on rail number two I'm not even gonna bother with it because I have not yet fixed it and that's gonna be out of bounds so you should get that reel out of the water which you can do quickly by switching to it canceling it and then switching back to number three See how I'm just pulling the rod back, but I'm not actually reeling. I'm waiting until this fish gets tired. And now I start reeling. Now I start reeling. I'm kind of doing this like I did before to see if I can... I'm, I've been reeling this whole time. And I'm trying to see if I can just get him closer. I find moving the rod like this sort of helps to do that. Alright guys, he's gonna fight. So I'm leaving my rod as is. Just pulled back. And then I'm not reeling, and then when he gets tired, I start reeling. Alright, he's gonna fight again. I'm not reeling, guys. Just leave it. If you hear a ton of exclamation marks, just bring your drag down, right? But I'm just hearing one or two, and that's fine. And then sometimes when he's not fighting, I'll do the pulling on the rod again, back and forth, and then you can maybe bring him in like I just did there. And then boom, another common carp. Alright guys, I'm going to quickly cast this, just in front of the dock. And then I'm going to go to that rod number one, and start doing the exact same technique. So guys, take a look at our score. We are absolutely crushing the competition, guys, and uh, this is a guaranteed win. Guaranteed win. So I'm doing the same thing when he's not fighting. I'm reeling in and I'm kind of moving the rod back and forth. And then he's going to try to take it. And that's a lot of exclamation marks, guys. So I brought my drag down a little bit. And again, I'm just going to keep reeling. I'm reeling him in until I see that he's actually going to take the reel. And it starts giving a lot of attention to the line. Like right there. That's a ton of tension on the line, and now I just yank him in. This guy came in quicker because he's the smallest one we caught so far at 18 pounds. Again, I'm going to cast the rod I already have right in front of me, 
and then I pick up the one that was just caught, the Banafi one. And then the same thing, guys. Uh, again, these bigger carp take a long time to bring in with the starting equipment, a lot longer than it would. But look at the benefits of it. Even if you're fighting them or waiting for them to bite the line for longer than a smaller carp, you are guaranteed to win. Unlike the bass tournament, you're not guaranteed to win that one. That one you can lose fish, etc, etc. But I find the carp, once you learn to fight them, and you just watch your drag and watch that exclamation mark, you are not likely to lose them. Okay, so he's testing my line. I'm just pulling my rod back. And then as soon as he's not fighting... I'm... Oh, and he's taking it away. Stop reeling, and now start reeling when he's not fighting. Wait for him to take the line again, and then you'd stop reeling. You guys get the idea, right? <laughs> that is the best way I've found to fight Carp. He should be coming in now. Maybe he'll do one more fight. He's going for it. Here we go. Let him go. And now that he's stopped fighting, I'm going to try to see if I can... Just bring him in, and here he comes, guys. Another common carp. Again, we're catching mostly common carp, because we have... We are basically just using the Banafee right now, and... Apparently that's what they like. It it's also has to do with the peg, or the area where we're fishing, right? But again, the, the main point of this right now is not just to catch... We're not looking for trophies, necessarily, or looking for a variety of carp. We just want to guarantee that we win the tournament. And we make the most XP and TP possible. Increase this to 25. He hasn't really pulled on the line yet, so that's why I'm, I've been reeling him in this entire time. And until he starts fighting, I'm gonna keep reeling him in. And there goes the first fight. I'm just holding my rod back. And when he stops fighting, reel him in. That's the basics of car fishing, guys. Let him take the line, wait for him to get tired, and start reeling him in. Perfect. Hey, we got a mirror carp, nice. Again, recast your rod. And then switch out to the rod that you need to fight. Keeping that drag at 25, especially with the 10 pound line, guys. I think this is a ghost car, which is kind of cool. We did get. Let's just take a look. We did end up getting. A mirror carp, mostly mo common carp, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a ghost. Alright guys, 
We got our first ghost carp at 21 pounds. Drop the rod you were just using. And go for that rod that just got triggered. I lowered my drag a little bit because I found there was a lot of exclamation marks on the go. There was also some sort of glitchy thing where he was stuck on the rocks. Alright. Again, I'm reeling this whole time and boom, as soon as he takes it, I stop, keep my rod back. And that is how you fight carp. So the main tips is... Don't just go crazy trying to do a bunch of random stuff. Keep your rod back and just reel when they're not fighting. And before you switch to your next rod, make sure you quickly cast in front of you so that you have time to get another fish on the line. And this is how you're going to absolutely smash your competition. They will have no chance at this point. Absolutely no chance. And we're getting a ton of TP by leveling up. We won't have time to get this last fish. There's no way we can do it in the 10 seconds that are left. And there we go, guys. We reached level 9. We won the trophy there. And now let's take a look at our TP. Boom, you get... We got... I was... We got 5,000 there. Because that was a 3,300, I believe. So now you should have around 8,300 if you've done just like me, or your amount might be different. But the point is that um, you have a lot more TP now. And now, that is about it. Now, what you can do now is you can just start my career. Or what I would totally do, guys, is I would just keep going on the carp. Because if you use the same technique that we just did here, you're guaranteed to win it. You're going to get 5,000 TP plus a ton of TP for leveling up. And then at that point, you can just start upgrading your equipment. You can get a better reel rod and reel or you can just start focusing on getting more lures uh, the amateur career is fine with just the equipment they give you however if you do want to bring those big carp in quicker then you do need to upgrade to the 80 pound line which costs 10,000 TP that's how you'll get the biggest gigantic carp in the game and um, yeah that's just about it guys that's that's definitely because look the goal is to get here where when you get your gold medal, you're going to get 15,000 TP. And then, you know, that's how you do it, man. And then you can start your career. You'll have a ton of TP saved up so you can get all the equipment you want, all the lures you want, all the lines you want to make sure that you absolutely crush the competition in the career. I hope this absolute basics and how I would start the game helped you guys. The offline tournaments is how you collect TP so you can get all the equipment to be the best you can at the career. Coming up, I'm probably just going to do a whole career in the amateur challenge and then do some videos of that. I cancelled my elite career just because I had to migrate over to Steam and I can't do that right now. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone's happy and healthy. You guys are the best. Take care.